All right, welcome back everyone. Garland here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. Now, this is actually old content per se because I haven't seen any content creators talking about it. This was kind of subliminally went under the radar. I mean, I, I saw no one talking about this. Now, I was kind of playing Call of Duty around this time frame. We were waiting for the new mod to come out. Apparently, these packs came out when Mod 18 uh, was launched. So, this was... Thursday, March 19th, and it was supposed to last until March 26th. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, someone in the comments can let me know if they actually did take these packs out of the Zen market and now they reintroduced them again because they are on the Zen market again today, and this is the first time that I've seen these. Again, I haven't seen any other content creators talking about these packs. I mean, it's all fashion. It's all irrelevant unless you care about fashion. Um, but these specific items actually look really good uh, personally for me i think these are some of the best fashion items that they've released so far in this entire game uh, and they also work on dragonborn which is a huge thing because you guys know that dragonborn cannot wear a helmet so we're specifically talking about the pack of the divine follower and the pack of the fallen so we're going to jump in the game and take a look at these we're gonna buy them and i'll show you uh how they look in game and everything but like i said i haven't seen any other content creators actually talking about these two packs uh they're not expensive but i guess at the same time they're not really cheap either uh and like i said let me know in the comments below were these actually removed for the game at a point and now they've been reintroduced again for a limited time because they were supposed to only be from march 19th until march 26th of course, this is the year 2020. If you're watching this video in the future, then you'll have no relevance of this, but at least you'll have a time frame for this video. So, like I said, this was limited time items. Uh, there was like next to none for sale on the auction house on Xbox. The ones that were for sale were like 3 million AD. Uh, so I kind of think that these were taken away and now they've been reintroduced again, which is good for me because now it gives me the opportunity to buy these because I didn't even know they existed. I missed this announcement. I didn't see this at all. This was back again, like I said, on March 19th. I did not even see this. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, jump in the game and let's take a look at this stuff. All right, guys, and here we are in game currently on Xbox. So they are all the way at the bottom under the appearances. You can see that the hairstyles are here, uh, but we're focused on this. So they are 750 Zen per pack. It's $7.50 for essentially fashion items. You're paying for skins at this point. Um, so it's $7.50, 750 Zen. So let's take a look at these individually. Let's look at the pack of the divine uh, first. So first on the list is we have the glowing halo. So if we inspect it, keep in mind I am Dragonborn, and this does actually work for Dragonborn. It literally puts a halo around your head, and it actually looks really good with the color scheme that I have going on uh, right now, specifically. So yes, this is actually cool fashion, you know? Um, if you use a Dragonborn, you know very well that you're very limited on what helmets you can actually have equipped that will actually show on your character model. So this is working. Here's what it looks like. Looks good in my opinion. Next on the list, we have the cloak that comes with it. So if we flop around, it's like a blue and white cloak. It has some angel wings on the back. If you're into that sort of thing, then congratulations. Then you're also going to get five of the holy water. And then you're also going to get a title which is Divine Follower is the title. Now, also, when you purchase this, you're also able to claim something called Eyes of the Divine from the Reclaim Agent. So if we look at this, it basically is the Harl's Gaze, uh, which was blue, is now transformed into yellow. So now your eyes will glow this neon yellow, which is pretty cool. I mean, I enjoy this. You know, for only $7.50, if you're paying the actual price tag for it, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny little item. It's a cosmetic item. So that's up to every individual player. Or you can, of course, utilize the ADX and transfer your money into Zen directly. So that is the first pack. Quickly, let's take a look at the Fallen, which I really like. Uh, you can clearly see we have something here called the Wicked Horns. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and bada bing, bada boom. Uh, it essentially is the Orcus uh, model. And they've just taken the Orcus helm away 
and now you have like devil horns. So again, for the dragonborn, uh, you know, if you don't want to use, um, you know, a helmet, or if you want to use a helmet, I mean, this works with the dragonborn. This also makes your eyes uh, fire. You uh, you like have fire eyes there. So the Orcus helmet does not have that. But essentially, the horns, I believe, are just reskinned off the Orcus helm. But they added the eye visual as well. So if we look at this cape, I like this cape obviously better. It's red, it's got a skull on the back. Yeah, it looks great, whatever. It's a cape, you know. And then finally you get, again, uh, five holy water. And then you will get the title of the Fallen. And then from the Reclaim Agent, you can get the Eyes of the Wicked. Which are essentially, again, the Harl's Gaze, which used to be blue. Well, now you have red. So now we have essentially three Harl's gaze in the game. So you can have blue eyes, which work with the Dragonborn. You can have yellow eyes, or you can have red eyes. Again, guys, this is all cosmetic. This isn't going to do anything for your character. It's just a fun little item they added to the game. I think that they're some of the uh, best fashion helmets, personally. Not only because they can be used on the Dragonborn, but I really like the glowing halo. I really like the wicked horns. I think these are... Pretty cool items overall, I mean, and they're, again, they're cosmetic items. If you're okay spending $7.50, you know, each you're going to spend, you know, $15 for both. That's completely up to you. So we'll go ahead and buy both of these and see what happens here. So we're going to buy the Divine Follower. We're going to buy the Pack of the Fallen. All those items should go into your inventory. These are also all unbound, guys. You can sell these while the titles aren't. But you can sell the cloaks. You can sell this stuff. So if you want to check your current market, like I said, when I first saw these items, they were actually, there wasn't any. There was like one or two listed, and they were like three million each. Now they have gone down in price. This leads me to believe that they did originally take them out of the game, and now they have again reint reintroduced them. So they're back. I don't know if these are going to be a permanent fixture. I don't know if this is going to be a limited time again. Someone can leave me a comment below. Have they always been in the game since March 19th? Were they never taken out of the game? Or is this the second time that they're coming around? This isn't something that I'm going to be investing in because I... Items like this, yes, they could go up significantly in price because they look cool. And newer players coming into the game are going to miss out on the opportunity to get these items unless they bring them back again. So it's always risk versus reward. Do you want to invest a little bit of money and sit on these and hopefully you know, sell them down the line to new players? It's risk versus reward. Everyone has to make their own judgment call on that. Let's quickly look at the Reclaim Agent. We're going to wrap this video up. So let's see where they're at. Uh, and here they are. They're right in the promotion tab. So we have Eyes of the Divine, which are also sellable on the auction house, and Eyes of the Wicked. So there it is, guys. That's going to conclude the video. Uh, I'm probably going to bind all these myself, obviously. Um, we got some holy water. and uh, Apparently these only stack to 10, so GG. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to bind all these myself. If I do buy another set to sit on it, you know, it's not a lot of money to sit on for a long-term investment, you know, depending if it takes six months down the road. So that is going to wrap up the video. Here is the Orcus uh, helmet for reference. So the horns are actually different than the Orcus helmet. The uh, the wicked horns kind of wrap around more. So this is the Orcus helmet on a dragonborn. Uh, and the Wicked Helms do look uh, a little different. So if we take a look at it one more time before we end the video here, you can see that these are definitely different from the Orcus Helm. So all in all, not too bad. 15 bucks, you know, spend your money how you're going to spend your money. That's all I got for you. Remember to sub to the channel. Jump in the Discord. Link's in the description. I'll see you guys real soon.